Hi, so welcome to another episode of uh, Vegan in Brazil. And today I'm going to do a bit of cooking. I'm going to make uh, a lovely uh, cauliflower and potato and chickpea curry. Let's take a look at the ingredients. All right, so for this recipe, we've got three potatoes, one onion, two bird's eye chilies. We're gonna use a couple of cloves of garlic, one or two, one medium-sized cauliflower. Take the leaves off that. A tin of tomatoes, chopped tomatoes. A small bottle of coconut milk, some cumin, powdered cumin, and we've got a generic curry paste that uh, curry powder there, some fresh coriander, and here we've got I, I cooked some chickpeas overnight. So I've got some of those left over which we're going to use. All right, so those are the ingredients. So the next thing we'll do, we'll just whip through the cauliflower. I'm just going to take off the leaves and cut the florets out. Do it the quickest way you can and then I like to just break them up into bite size pieces it's up to you but this is what I like to do and then get your potato I use one of these turbo peelers you can do it with a knife if you want and you want to chop those up again into bite size pieces even pieces so they all cook together at the same rate throw them all into the sieve and there we got what we've got the cauliflower florets and the potatoes all in the same pan pan of water salted water a few leftovers and just boil those up together until they're cooked put a lid on easy peasy all right so let's chop the onion Take the end off and then I like to cut it in half. Take the skin off, just get the outer layer. You can fast forward all this if you don't want to see me peeling <laughs> and chopping an onion. So I like to cut these vertical strips, four millimeter across. Make sure you don't cut all the way through to the end. You want to keep the bulb at the end. And then you cut through horizontally a couple of times on your fingers. And then you just chop down. Pretty simple, you get some a decent a decent bit of onion coming off that. Same with the other half. Mind your fingers. This is the part that can get messy. I have cut myself doing that before. <laughs> All right, so that's it. That's one onion chopped and diced. Throw that in the bowl. And then we'll get on with chopping the garlic. Two bulbs for this. Take those off and then using the side of the knife, just give it a whack. And that, and that loosens the skin up. It, it saves a lot of time. You can do it the other way, which is just like trying to peel it without smacking it, but it takes ages and sticks to your fingers. 
This is the quickest method I found. Let's try it. This is definitely worth a go. And then I use a, a similar sort of method as I do when I'm peeling the onion. Just chop across, chop down. And chop it all up. Do the same with the other, uh, the other clove. Throw it in with the onions in the bowl. And then we're going to take one of the chilies. If it was just me eating this or cooking this for myself, I would use both chilies, but because my partner, she doesn't really like hot food like most Brazilians she doesn't like it too spicy so we're just going to use the one and I'm going to take the seeds out so you can spice it right up use both leave the seeds in just chop it all up so I cut them into little strips like this and then finally chop them the similar size to the garlic and then throw that in the bowl with the onions and the garlic because we'll be cooking all those off together in the pan later get everything off the knife that's it do a bit of clean up always nice to keep your work surface clean and tidy Throw it in. Lovely. Done. Okay, so we've. Well, I've had the cauliflower and the potatoes boiling for a while, and the potatoes were cooking a little bit quicker than the cauliflower, so I took those out, which are here. And I've got the cauliflower just boiling a little bit longer. A couple more minutes, they'll be done and i'm going to keep the water from this as well just to add a little bit later on to the curry so it's worth putting that to one side all right so here we've got some of the chopped carrot cup fresh coriander just take that and chop it up and i keep a little bit then extra just for garnish later on open the ch chopped tin of tomatoes that's ready to rock and roll. If, if they come whole, just get the knife in there and chop them up. So I've got a couple of tablespoons of olive oil in the in a large pan. I'm going to add... <laughs> Need some oil. So just put it on a low heat and add the onions, the garlic and the chopped red chili into the pan. And you want on a low heat and just get it, get it so it goes nice and moist and brown. Get those flavours in there. Give it a stir, stop it from sticking. The smells from this are amazing. Keep it all moving around in there. So now we're going to add the spice. About a tablespoon of, of curry powder for the amount that we're going to cook. Just 
Try and evenly distribute that into the pan. And roughly about the same of cumin. Maybe a little bit less. Throw that in as well. <laughs> Alright, throw it all in. Just throw it all in there. Give us the. It's going to want to start sticking to the bottom of the pan at this stage. So you can add a little bit more oil if you want. But I'm adding a little bit of the cauliflower and potato water in there. Just to stop it sticking. Should be some awesome smells coming out of there right now. Of the tomatoes, chopped tomatoes, whack them in there. Give that a bit of a stir. You, you, as I'm doing here, I'm adding a bit more of that potato cauli water just to rinse the can. Just use everything. Give that a good stir. Mix it all together. on a low heat I can see it bubbling away there so next let's whack in this coconut milk this gives it a wonderful flavor I love it I love coconut milk and curries you can see that color turning light brown straight away it's awesome So we're going to put in a bit of the chopped carrot coriander at this stage. Let that infuse. Give it a good old stir. The smell is unbelievable. Unbelievable. So, a little bit of salt in there, about a tablespoon maybe, and some ground black pepper. I mean, season it to your own taste, I mean, I don't know what I've got in there, probably about a teaspoon of each maybe. Give it a stir. So now we're going to add in some of the already cooked chickpeas or graujabico as they call it in Brazil. Add as much or as little as you want of these. So we got about a cup of chickpeas in there at the moment, cooked cooked chickpeas so now we're gonna add the cauliflower and the potato the cooked cauliflower and cooked potato whack them in give it a good stir because you want everything coated My next video, you, you probably can tell that I'm, I'm actually doing a voiceover now. I was recording initially from, from the iPhone with the standard microphone and it, 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 was, it was awful. So I've had to do a voiceover unfortunately, otherwise I'd lose the whole video. So you can't hear any of the sounds from the cooking and 
but I, I've invested in, in a small lapel microphone so for the next cooking video well for all my videos from now on the sound quality should be much better and we'll be able to hear the, the cooking sounds as well so I apologize for that it's a learning curve we'll get there so I add a bit more of this potato juice potato and cauliflower juice Give it a good stir, make sure everything is coated. And then I think we're just gonna cover it here now. Whack the lid on it. And, and put it on a very low heat and let it simmer for 10, 15 minutes. Okay, rice is next. Now this is a awesome trick, which you don't see in any cookbooks that I've seen or any other videos on YouTube. This is a Brazilian thing. So with your rinsed white rice okay get that done first and then in a pan put some oil tablespoon full of oil and about half a chopped small onion get that into the pan okay on a low heat give it a stir and you want to moisten it all up get the onion so that they just turn in brown excuse my video action here all right, and then with the rinsed and dried white rice, you want to whack that in with the onions after I've finished messing about shaking it for the camera. Okay, so I'm trying to show you here. So, so the measurement for the rice, so say for instance, you've got one cup of rice you want to have two cups of water so the onions are softening up smelling nice we'll have a little look at the curry boiling away while we wait for the onions that's smelling unbelievable looking good Alright, so I've just skipped, I've just thrown the dry rice now in with the onions, give that a stir. Let them absorb a little bit of the rice flavours and the oil. Okay, just for a minute or two. You don't see this in any other cooking video and it's going to blow your mind what this rice is like. So this is the first jug of water. Oh, I forgot to mention, you need to put some salt in with the water as well. About a tablespoon of salt maybe for this. Maybe a bit less. Alright. So two to one ratio of water to rice. Give that a stir. This is on a low heat. Whack a lid on it. And then you're going to leave that for approximately, I don't know, 10, 12 minutes. Do, you know, do, don't open it for at least 10 minutes. Okay, so here we are. We'll open it up. There we go. The water's evaporated. The rice is perfectly cooked. We'll have a little nose in there. You can see there's a little bit of moisture on the bottom. That looks perfect to me. That rice will blow your mind. There's the curry, there's the rice. It's looking pretty good. And it smells unbelievable, as I've mentioned about a million times so far during this video. <laughs> so let's let's plate up. I'm trying to do this with one hand, filming, moving plates. Let's take some rice. Put it on a plate just off camera there it is okay this is unbelievable filmage this, this camera skill is unbelievable okay just heating up the curry one last time with lots of things let's move this over here to this side Get the ladle, 
Give it a nice little stir. Make sure you get a piece of everything on there. Chickpeas, lovely potatoes, cauliflower, all that wonderful spice, tomato sauce, coconut milk, awesome. Get a little bit of the coriander, just a little bit of garnish and make it look pro. And there it is. That's my cauliflower, potato and chickpea curry. So there we go. That's my cauliflower, potato and chickpea curry with rice. Give it a go. Let me know how you get on. Ciao. That's it, nice.